All right, peeps. Cue down here. And we're going to finish up our tail lamp restoration video. And I'm going to show you where I'm at. So this is part two. All right, here we go. All right, so last time I left you, you saw I was working on a bunch of tail lamps. Finished up the Camaro tail lamps. And I think they came out really good. You can see. I did all the housings. And I've been working on the Mustang ones. And I showed you uh, some of the techniques I was using. And that there is what I basically started with. And you can see how this housing looks. And that's where we're at now. I've got this all cleaned up using the techniques I told you. And I've got the bezel right now. I'm stripping it down to get all the junk off of it. They use a lot of um, like contact cement on these. And the best way to get it off is to use this product right there. It's a plastic safe stripper, but don't get it on the lens. You can use it on this. I used it on the Camaro housings. I used it on the Mustang housing. So using some of those techniques that I told you, this is what you can end up with. Okay, I'm going to show you exactly how to take apart one right now when we come back. Okay, guys, this is the easy way to get these babies apart. And I'm just using a heat gun here on low. And I'm going to start by heating up this molding right here. Actually, the weather seal. So you got to get it loose a little bit. But you can see, see that? Just let me pull it right away, but this part where I didn't do it is still stuck. So you're going to go around the whole lamp, and that's how you're going to get this rubber off. Alright, there's the gasket. It's off. This gasket's shot, so that's going in the trash. And as I showed you, you're going to take the heat gun, you're going to pull that tab up, and it's not going to just come right out because they use that funky glue, so you're going to have to do the same thing. You're going to have to go around the edges, heat it up, and once you do that, it should pull right out. Alright, there we go. This is just about ready to come out, but you can see all the glue in here. If you try and do this without heating it up, you're going to crack something, there's no doubt about it. So just take your time, use the heat, it's your friend. I mean, this stuff is nasty. But that's how you get these apart. Alright, so I got it apart. And uh, the next step that you would do is these little spots right here, all along the frame here. You're going to take a drill bit a touch bigger than this and you're going to drill down a little bit don't drill all the way through the plastic just enough to release it and you're going to need it's the same thing this is glued on to the lens 
So you're going to need to do the same thing with the heat. Just go lightly around the edge, get one corner up, just take your time, and you'll be able to get this off. Again, if you don't use the heat, the heat is the key here. And after you do that, you'll go ahead, you'll clean up the inside and the outside of the lens with the products I told you in the first video. And then again, you're going to use this stripper right here. Get it at Home Depot. And the stripper you're going to use on the housing. And then if you want to redo these, you can uh, use it on that like I'm doing over here. Now, these have some dents in them. They're kind of shot, my frames. So I have a good set that are installed in the car. And these I'm going to do a little custom work on. And uh, this is just a template to give you an idea of what I'm doing here. I'm going to do some plexiglass work and uh, do something custom. This is just a rough template. I must have done this in 1986. I had a set of these on the car uh, with some Velcro, but I'm going to go a little more crazy this time. And i got to keep you guys in suspense. Alright, next video, I'll show you the rest of the techniques that I'm going to use to get these looking mint.